Yo, what's up my brother, what's up my sister, this is your boy Oscar Teki again with yet another amazing video. Now in this particular video today I'm going to show you how to edit the eyes in one click. Of course there are many ways to edit eyes but the problem I found with the manual ways of editing eyes is that sometimes you don't get consistent results. Sometimes the eyes tend to look very artificial, they tend to look very white and the eyes don't seem to have the veins. Now the tool we are going to use, we are going to use an AI tool to edit the eyes and make them more vibrant which is going to actually create more presence in your portraits. This is how I create presence in my portraits because you know as you all know the eyes are the gateway to the soul. If the eyes go wrong in your portrait then the portrait is not going to look more appealing and it's not going to evoke any kind of emotion. So this particular AI plugin by Retouch for me, it is actually the eye bundle. It's going to help you create more presence and, and edit your eyes and give them that vibrant kind of feel. I'm actually excited to share this with you. Let me show you how this works, okay? So what we are going to do basically, I'm going to create a screenshot of this particular layer. Control Alt, Shift and E. Yeah, and the first thing we're going to do right now, we're going to rename this I vessels. Yeah, because we're going to first remove the faces. That's the first thing we're going to do. Come into filter, and then I'm going to say uh, retouch for me. Then I'm going to say I vessels. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Bam! Look at that, guys. Isn't this amazing? The amazing thing about this is that you can even recreate a layer. So I'll just stick. Make sure that make mask is sticked there. Then we're going to say apply so that they create a layer. You know, let me show you guys what we have. Look at this. That's the before. That's the after. Before and after. Look at that, guys. Isn't that amazing? And the amazing thing is that it has not actually removed the vessels to make the eyes artificial. Instead, it has removed those bloody, those blood stains that come as people age. Look at this guys, isn't this amazing? So the next thing we're going to do now, we're going to make the eyes even more present by adding that kind of uh, oomph and brightness to the eyes. So what are we going to do? I'm going to create a stamp on top of this, Control Alt, Shift and E, or Command Shift, Option and E if you're using a Mac, and I'm going to name this Eye Brilliance, okay? So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to come here into Filter, Retouch for me, and then I'm going to say I brilliance. Let us see how it does magic, guys. I love this plugin so much. I love retouch for me. And by the way, if you want to get a 20% discount off these plugins, just click the first link in the description below and use my coupon code for a 20% discount. You're going to take your portrait photography to the next level. Let me just come here and of course just increase it right here. Yeah, so that I have them pop. Yeah, look at that. Let me see how it, oh my god, this is super amazing, guys, look at this, isn't this amazing? Look at that, that's the before and that's the after, before and after, and we have the eye all looking. Actually, it just matches the skin, it just matches the whole picture. It doesn't look overly worked like our manual techniques, and the beautiful thing about this is that you get consistent results that are natural looking. You don't have to do, man. Guys, this is super amazing. Of course, if you buy it from my link, I get a simple commission that helps me create for you these amazing free tutorials. And even if you're a beginner photographer or a person who doesn't want to waste time in post-production, these tools come in handy. They're going to save you hours and hours you would have spent. Today, In a, I spend almost something like around 8 to 10 minutes editing a photo using these particular AI tools. Why? Because... They make everything simple for you. For example, I use the frequency separation plugin to do my skin retouching. Then I use, of course, the retouch for me skin tone to match the skin tones of the pictures. Then I use the retouch for me portrait volumes to do the general burning and dodging, which to create more depth in my image. Then I use the retouch for me background cleanup to clean the backgrounds and remove all the squeezes in the background. Then I use the mattifier to bring back to reduce the highlights on overly exposed things basically i got this retouch for me bundle and it has reduced my workflow these days i even edit my weddings using ai tools i just go to bed 
set up my actions and I leave the scripts running. I've actually cut down on the time I spend in editing. That's why I can even deliver a wedding on the same day using these AI tools and I highly, highly recommend these plugins. Guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope to see you in the next video. If you've enjoyed this video, come on, click that button and I'll see you in the next one. And adios.